Hey everyone, glad to see you again. We'll talk about how AMC is going after the synthetics in this film. How short are Lying Citadel losing assets and many more in this video so make sure you guys watch until the end now straight to we taking a look at this AMC Entertainment has stated that they reached out the New York Stock Exchange and relevant authorities concerning issues like failure to delivers. Synthetic share claims and other questionable activities by Wall Street, however, no action has been taken yet. Additionally, MAMC emphasizes that the primary focus is on operating movie theaters, not regulating markets, so this is something that obviously has been talked about, and I think it's very important that this was made clear and AMC has in fact done that they have gone to authorities talking about FTDs, talking about synthetic claims, and also other questionable activities. Now, it is not in AMC's hand, nor their power to obviously be able to regulate the market. All they can do is bring. The problem up is down to the SEC and any other authorities to obviously take action, and so I think the fact that they've done this already is a good sign that obviously they are trying to work with retail, they are trying and are aware of the attacks, and are trying to obviously fix it, and what's important is this part here, the primary. Focus is on operating movie theaters, not regulating markets, because again, they don't have any power in terms of regulating the markets. However, what they do have is by operating movie theaters, by improving the business, which we'll be talking about later on, you're able to obviously keep the shorts continuously trapped. And by keeping the shorts trapped, you're wasting their money and you're exposing them to obviously the risk of margin course defaults. And of course, the squeed of AMC happening. So I think that is why it should be the primary focus. And I think for retail investors, it's also important that we want them to improve the company more because if the SEC is not doing anything about the synthetics that AMC can't do much more apart from obviously raising it up and again bringing everyone's attention to, to that now what's important now and I think with this new earnings is you can see this AMC the world's largest theat chain reported fourth quarter earnings that fell short of Wall Street estimates. Now, this is where shorts are lying because what's interesting about this is Twitter Oryx has literally said this is not true AMC beat Wall Street estimates. And so you can, you guys can see how Bloomberg themselves are trying to lie. And again, that's because they are working over the shorts. That's because again, whilst there are people who just scroll through Bloomberg, they don't go through the AMC community list. They may just see this report and think AMC Hasey has in fact fell short of Wall Street estimate. Um, AMC has just failed their earnings, which is not true. What is true is that AMC earnings have been made easy. Allow us to look at this now. First, AMC made more money this quarter. Their overall earnings were 1.1 billion rupees, up 11.5% from the same time last year. The company's losses went down from 287.4 million to 182 million, which is less of a hit than last year's 131 million to 133.5 million. After taking into account some specific costs, the loss was 111.8 million, which is actually 34.3 million more than last year. The loss per share went up from $264 to 83 cents, so this year's loss is less for every share. Of course, there are more updates about how AMC has improved, and most importantly, at the end of the, as we can see, AMC still has $8,843,000,000 in cash on hand. This can help them make more money. They have made 1.1 billion rupees and still have 880 million rupees to spend, so AMC is in a good spot. That's right, I'll say it this way, AMC still has almost 1 billion rupees in cash that they haven't spent. Our total losses for the year are getting better, and so are our losses for each quarter. Elgo companies that might want to invest in AMC should pay attention to these growth rates. This is related to what we talked about here. First, again, Algorithms that look closely at results will see that AMC is a good investment. These algorithms will also look closely at the fundamentals of a company. An algorithm that uses news and market sentiment to decide whether to buy or sell something will clearly see that this company, AMC, is not a buy. This is how they're trying to mess up the algorithm. Because if you use it to look at the basics, AMC is clearly a good investment. But if you have an algorithm that is based on news stories and how the market is feeling, then reading an article that says, Fourth quarter earnings fell short of Wall Street estimates tells that algorithm to either sell or short this stock. This is how shorts are lying to try to bring down AMC even more, but we can see that funds have recently bought more shares than they have sold. Firstly, institutions are buying now. Why would they be buying if AMC isn't a worthwhile investment? And so, of course, what we can see is, again, these articles are aimed at retail investors getting you to sell your AMC share, so that they can buy real shares, but also again, where are they getting these? 
Shares we've talked about before, the shares that have been bought off by these institutions are very likely to be synthetics. We've also seen, like we said, about how synthetics are hidden in options, locate, and many more as well. And so we know that there is an, an abundance of synthetic shares on the market right now. And that seemingly is what institutions are buying into. Now institutions are worth are already, you know, thinking that it's worth to buy synthetic shares of AMC. So let, let alone the real shares of AMC, that's obviously more valuable. So when you see articles, when you see things that makes you and tells you to sell your AMC shares, understand that the reason for that is because they want to buy the real shares, the valuable real shares off of the retail investors, because we own the majority of the flow as. Always now, this is Ever Financial Advisor. Do take S, make sure you do your own due diligence and research. And so you know the overall sentiment right now is AMC is a worthwhile investment you should buy into AMC, at least is what it seemingly looks like from the institutions that is the incentive. That is, is the um kind of opinion, the perspective that they are giving off. Furthermore, what we can see is this today, um, security total assets have decreased by 33.8473063 and the 2020 So you can see they've decreased by, if we take a look at the overall perspective of AMC and AMC short sellers. What we have is this firstly institutions who have been shorting AMC throughout the last three years have seen an increase in terms of their losses, increase in terms of their short positions, but a decrease in their assets like you guys can see here if we look at AMC over the last three years, we can see that its prospects have gotten better and both individual investors and institutions have bought more shares. This makes it very clear what's going on with AMC at the moment. People who have been shorting AMC are losing money, so they're raising their short position to try to make more money, but it's clear that it's not working. Power is being lost by cadet, and we can see that the gap C is getting smaller and smaller. In the end, their short situation will need more margin than their assets, so they won't be able to use collaterals. The image is also true. The relative strength index RSI for AMC is very low right now, which could mean that people are selling their shares of AMC. There are no sellers, so we know that's not happening. The RSI is low because of short sellers, synthetics, and naked shorts, always making fun of AMC's ongoing lies, and why are they doing so well? Yes, we did say that shorts are losing both their assets and their positions, while banks are making money. They need to do everything they can to surprise AMC because this means they are making a lot of money. Enjoy your time, and we'll see you soon. And so we know that there is an, an abundance of synthetic shares on the market right now, and that seemingly is what institutions are buying into now institutions are worth, are already you know thinking that it's worth to buy synthetic shares of AMC, so let alone the real shares of AMC that's obviously more valuable so when you see articles when you see things that makes you and tells you to sell your amc shares understand that the reason for that is because they want to buy the real shares the valuable real shares the valuable real shares off of the retail investors because we own the majority of the flow as always now this is ever financial advisor do take s make sure you do your own due diligence and research and so you know the overall sentiment right now is amc is a worthwhile investment you should buy into amc at least is what it seemingly looks like from the institutions that is the incentive that is is the um, kind of opinion the perspective that they are giving off furthermore what we can see is this today um security total assets have decreased by 33.8473063 and what is the key to their success banks profit as short sellers lose both their assets and positions they need to make all conceivable effort to surprise amc as it would lead to significant financial profit we look forward to your visit and hope you have an enjoyable time.